Adventure games involve exploring new environments, collecting objects, and deciphering puzzles with fascinating plots that drive gameplay. Anyone who likes to experience the best adventures on PlayStation 5 can't miss out on these excellent games that I'm going to show you in today's video. Control pushed the limits of the PS4, delivering an intense third-person romp, but a technically flawed one. This return trip to the unorthodox old house feels much more at home on the PS5. However, and while there are some strange difficulty spikes, Remedy's unique brand of shooting shines throughout much of this engrossing outing. The oppressive setting, unnerving enemies, and wonderfully eerie atmosphere really come to life on Sony's current-gen machine, offering much improved visuals and performance. The Last of Us Part 1 trophies will be, frankly, the last of your concerns on your first playthrough of this remastered classic. As we discussed in our The Last of Us Part 1 review, there's a shockingly decent parallel to be made between Joel stealthing his way through clicker-infested suburb in Wyoming and Pac-Man chomping his way through a ghost-filled maze. If that sounds like a slight against The Last of Us, think about Pac-Man for a second, that is a game that is nothing but action. There's a touch more restraint and patience required to best TLOUP1, but you'll still be twitching and ducking corners just to avoid the ravenous hordes like you just used your last power pellet. As cinematic and as sedate as The Last of Us Part 1 can be, this is a game that knows the finer balance of an action-adventure masterpiece. Harry Potter fans' hopes and dreams have come true with Hogwarts Legacy. PS5 players can attend and explore the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry as much as they want. No matter which mode players opt for, the architectural aesthetics of the castle and its environment would be beautifully portrayed with the support of 4K visuals and a smooth performance rate of 120 frames per second. Hogwarts Legacy engages the player's spellcasting capability during various puzzles. With haptic feedback and the rest of the controller's features, the DualSense can make Hogwarts feel more real, especially when fighting spells. The game is filled with magic, wonders, and charms, which makes it comparable to the best adventure games on PlayStation 5. Like a Dragon, Ishin is set during the late 1800s, when Western powers were starting to encroach on Japan. On the brink of a civil war, you play as historical figure Ryoma Sakamoto, a skilled swordsman who embarks on a bloody quest for revenge. It's typically brilliant storytelling from RGG Studio, coupled with an intense combat system. Since it's a standalone spin-off, Ishin is a great place to start if you're new to the Yakuza slash Like a Dragon series, and you'll even be introduced to an entire cast of characters whose faces and voice actors have been plucked directly from other entries. An all-star hit! If you're on the hunt for an open-world, narrative-driven adventure in your search for the best PS5 game for you, then look no further than Horizon Forbidden West. Developing and expanding on all that was great about Horizon Zero Dawn on PS4, Aloy's next adventure is staggeringly beautiful, gripping, and filled with exciting Rob Dinosaur action. Many will say that it doesn't change a whole lot from Zero Dawn, or break ground that much, but Forbidden West absolutely is one of the best experiences you can get on PS5 right now, and absolutely do not skip the side quests, with some of the best we've played on PS5, or any platform, for that matter, in recent years. Offered as an added incentive as part of Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales' pricier Ultimate Edition, a somewhat strange delivery mechanism should take nothing away from Marvel's Spider-Man Remastered. Insomniac Games invested a huge amount of effort here, rebuilding New York City to take full advantage of the PS5 hardware, without interfering with the critically acclaimed action of the PS4 original. Some vocal fans were frustrated by the changes to protagonist Peter Parker's face, but with new visual effects like ray tracing, in addition to silky smooth 60 frames per second refresh rates, this is the definitive way to experience Sony's superb superhero sandbox. It even includes all of the original's inconsequential but enjoyable expansion packs. Created by Insomniac Games, Marvel's Spider-Man, Miles Morales made significant advancements in the expansive Spider-Man universe by including a twisted plot and stunning virtual concepts. Moreover, the story of Miles Morales is more like a sequel, as it reveals how the character develops and learns to accept his extraordinary abilities over time. In the game, Peter Parker and Miles Morales exploits proceed as they take on increasingly powerful foes. The game is fun to play on the PS5 because of its cutting-edge ray-traced graphics and unique features. It also boasts fast loading times, realistic lighting, and an incredible portrayal of New York City. So, you are lining up those Uncharted Legacy of Thieves trophies? You'll uncover a sensational remaster of two of the best action-adventure titles ever made, Uncharted 4A Thieves End and Uncharted Lost Legacy. 
In our review, we noted, these two Uncharted games are no doubt a genre-defining release for third-person action-adventure and a pinnacle of what gaming can offer. If that doesn't speak volumes about how good these games are, we can't help you. With an iconic IP that was built on PS3 first, you should ideally play the Nathan Drake collection on PS4 because it contains the first three entries. All are fantastic and Uncharted 2 among thieves, in particular, is probably one of the biggest reasons the PS3 generation didn't flop. However, with the double billing of A Thief's End and Lost Legacy as our recommendation, you are getting the two games that perfected the formula. From Nathan Drake's hilarious banter with Sully to a sequence through a collapsing pirate city, these games are fueled with emotional storytelling and bombastic action. These games define action-adventure. One of the most influential, and most highly rated, games in living memory is Resident Evil 4, and surprise surprise, the remake is just as essential. Capcom has brought Leon's disturbing European excursion into the modern era with updated controls, vastly improved graphics, and knife parries. The remake nails the tone of the beloved original while building on it with a creepier atmosphere and even new areas to explore and side missions to keep you busy. It's somehow improved on one of the best games ever. The sequel to A Plague Tale, Innocence made things bigger and bolder than ever before. The adventures of Hugo and Amisha are both enthralling and heartbreaking at the same time, with players loving the risks taken in the narrative. Sure, some people love the intimacy in the first game and how a lower budget made the claustrophobic environments all the more memorable, but that's a minor complaint in the grand scheme of things. A Plague Tale, Requiem is a must-play for anyone who likes the plot and characters of Innocence. Players can certainly check this title out for themselves and enjoy it to an extent, but it's highly recommended to check out the first game before getting into this improved sequel. Deathloop offers up a murderous puzzle box for players to break open and figure out. Deathloop is one of those rare games that surprises you, playing out nothing like any of us expected. Lose yourself trying to figure out the mystery of how to kill eight targets in a single day, where all move around the world of Black Reef living their lives and rudely not just staying put so you can kill them. The more you experience the loop, the more you learn, and the more you understand about this strange little time-looping world. The co-op Gotti that blew everyone away is here. You and a buddy will be collecting It Takes Two trophies in utter joy as you and your two humans turn dolls jump and battle through level after level of creative co-op perfection. Let's pause there, at that word creativity. That's what helps this action-adventure shine above most others. One moment it's a third-person shooter, the next it's a side-scroller, then a Diablo light. It never runs out of ideas, but nor does it run out of narrative weight. As our trusty duo tries to reach the finish, it unspools tales of a relationship that is so often cliché-ridden that it does the full loop back to insightful. Star Wars Jedi Survivor is the direct sequel to Fallen Order, and it's a bigger and better game in every way. It builds upon the previous title's successes, engaging lightsaber combat, semi-linear environment design, while improving on areas that needed attention. The story takes some major steps forward, protagonist Cal's character is developed meaningfully, and his supporting cast is far more interesting overall. Throw on top a hub area that gradually changes over time, oodles of optional content, and one or two awesome set pieces, and you have a truly great game, whether you're into Star Wars or not. Collecting those Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart trophies was an absolute video game vacation. After all these years, the rich genealogical heritage of the Spyro games, with their focus on collectibles and exploration and very light character quests, can still be felt in the latest PS5 entry of Ratchet and Clank. The important difference is that where Spyro lets you chill out and just collect at your own pace, Ratchet and Clank remains a tense, bombastic action-adventure series at its very core. Light exploration is all well and good, but if you think for one second you won't have to circle strafe blast your way through ever tougher hordes of enemies and bosses just to see those end credits, you have this series confused with Astro's Playroom or something. This is the debut game from developer Ember Lab, and it's a strong first effort. Kina, Bridge of Spirits gets top marks for its animation and visual flair, but it's also a very enjoyable action platformer. It puts us in mind of PS2 classics such as Jack and Daxter, you're traversing a sort of open-world environment, collecting things, solving puzzles, and engaging in simple yet surprisingly challenging combat. Those lovable rock creatures and some tricky boss battles further cement this as a cult hit. Popping all the Outer Wilds trophies convinced me that this is one of the best games of all time. It features a sun repeatedly exploding and a 20-minute time loop. You wake up to an alien spaceship exploding and it's your job to travel to space and work out the mystery behind it all. It then plays out in a 20-minute sandbox, open world, yes, 
but with distinctly linear pathways, where you fly to different planets and behind unrevealing a tale through puzzles and spacefaring action. Creativity abounds in outer wilds. You'll see a typhoon-ridden planet, delve into space fish, and more. The production value isn't in the graphics or the performances but in the sheer writing and unabashed perfection with which this game delivers groundbreaking environmental design. It's so powerful that by the end it'll have you consulting the meaning of life while you sob to one of the best soundtracks in gaming. The adventure aspect is all-time classic worthy and the action here revolves around spaceships and puzzles. If you want more shooting, look away, but at least try and get yourself engrossed in this superb voyage in the stars. Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut repackages one of the greatest open-world games of the PS4 era on the PS5. A breakout hit for first-party developer Sucker Punch, this expanded re-release includes a new idyllic samurai sandbox named Iki Island, and forces protagonist Jane Sakai to face some painful memories. With improved presentation and stunning DualSense support, allowing you to physically feel the clash of steel on steel in your fingertips, this is the definitive version of one of PlayStation Studios' crowning achievements. God of War Ragnarok is the critically acclaimed sequel to God of War, 2018. Picking up several years after the events of its predecessor, this single-player epic once again follows Spartan Kratos and his son Atreus. But, this time, the pair are preparing for Ragnarok, a great battle that is prophesized to bring about the destruction of the Nine Realms. Ragnarok will feel familiar to those who played God of War, but what really makes this sequel great is its emotive narrative, which shines in its subtler moments, while clever evolutions to combat introduce welcome changes that advance gameplay without oversaturating it. It's a sequel that is often as brutal as it is poignant, making it easily the best mature open-world adventure on PS5 right now. Grand Theft Auto V sprawling yet meticulously detailed map is still the high bar to which most open-world games aspire. Not only is it huge, it's incredibly dense with excellent content, not just the driving and shooting and three protagonist story that make up its campaign, and not limited to the numerous side activities, but all the sights, sounds, and bustling activity you'd expect to find in a city teeming with humans, CD underbelly included. With so much to do, explore, and play with, both as a single-player PC game and Grand Theft Auto Online, plus great creative tools and mods, it's truly amazing on multiple levels. A superhero game from Square Enix is enough for hardcore PlayStation players to proceed with caution after Marvel's Avengers, but developer Eidos Montreal has done Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy proud with a faithful, funny, and thoroughly enjoyable campaign based on original storytelling. It's a meaty one too, lasting north of 20 hours. The characters of Drax, Groot, Rocket, and Gamora are just as you remember them from the Marvel movies, and even Star-Lord performs valiantly despite the lack of a Chris Pratt face scan. Combat is deep and engaging, exploration is limited but fun, and dialogue is top-notch. Yes, The Last of Us Part 2 only launched a few years ago, in 2020, which, if you measure time in Olympic Games, is exactly, one. Yes, that's pretty quick, it certainly doesn't feel like long enough to justify a standalone remaster. Heck, IGN's users have tended to agree, particularly when the already incredible-looking existing PS4 version of The Last of Us Part 2 had already received a 60 frames per second performance update for the PS5. However, if your next question is, is this the best way to experience The Last of Us Part 2? Then the answer is also undoubtedly yes. If you haven't gotten around to it yet, this is absolutely the place to play it. An ambitious and sweeping sequel that significantly expands the world of the masterful original, The Last of Us Part 2 is an impeccably assembled stealth action game that hits like a haymaker and is hard to forget. The heavy spotlight on revenge, hate, and self-destruction is emotionally sapping at times, but there remains room to breathe within a story that escalates, pivots, eases, and ultimately explodes again, playing out like two whole seasons of premium TV. There's no denying that No Man's Sky deserved the criticism it received upon release, after months of immense hype. The game's procedurally generated worlds and creatures were ugly and lifeless, with many promised features absent from the game at launch. However, over time, Hello Games released a wealth of updates. These updates slowly added more content to the game, both promised and otherwise. As of now, players wanting to get lost in a massive space odyssey will be more than pleased with what No Man's Sky brings to the table. So, did you like the games I recommended? So leave your like, subscribe to the channel to follow me and activate the bell because I post a lot of videos on this channel and you can't miss it. Thank you very much for following me this far and until next time, bye.